This is the beginning of a spontaneous trip. Weather forecast looks great after my last snowstorm camp, so here I am, patching the summer vibe with a broken AC. It is so hot. I'm sure where the next destination is or how long I'll be out for, just Elan Kuzer and I trying to see what's out there and how far we can get to. I just really struggled in like four feet deep of snow. Just filled up, um, ready to get going. It is 20 degree right now outside and I am sweating. I believe my AC is condensed, it might be broken again. <laughs> Got that fixed literally just before leaving Australia. Right now I'm tuned to fully cold and just giving me warm air. Oh man. Yep. 20 degree and we still got snow. Oh. Just want to emphasize on the importance of aiming down. Not only you get better um, ride quality with the tire cushioning out the bounce, obviously bigger footprint to grab onto things. In this situation though, you're doing a favor for the road. Or the machines, if you don't air down, your fully inflated tire will cut straight into the ground and creating more ruts. So, yeah, always air down, guys. Yeah, so this is, I think, frozen. Maybe because of my AC failure, the temperature fell like over 20 degrees Celsius to me, yet the lakes are still covered by a layer of ice. Doesn't look like they want to melt away under the sun anytime soon. However, it creates a different type of beauty. Instead of the typical snow kingdom winter wonderland type of image, you get to see the livelihood spring out from land vegetation, which are already snow free, contrasting the white lake surface. It is an interesting time of the year to get out explore. The road conditions can be quite unpredictable with a mixture of dry, wet, and spring melt. It's just patches of snow and mud puddles. Sort of have to commit now. I just really struggled in like four feet deep of snow. This does not look like a track that's under 20 degrees sun. What did I just go through? I just dropped into that deep of sort of icebergs. Scouting out where I was headed, I am a little concerned if my choice is a good one. Literally, I am sweating inside a vehicle and the vehicle is getting stuck in deep snow outside. Hey, there we go, another one. Uh, I think I will just explore this another time. There are tons of campable spots around the area. I want to find somewhere closer to the water and warm. Preferably not in snow. I've had enough of snow camp in the last few months.
this looks like a nice little spot to camp, but what's up with these goose? Oh, okay, it went away. So it's mine now? Thanks, Mike. Before we start doing anything, housekeeping. Bring your satellite communicator out, connect it to your phone or whatever method it use and update, since we don't have reception right here, update whoever that is your, I guess, emergency contact with people that care about you, about your safety and where you are so that they are not sitting on fire at home, I guess. You can either do it on your phone or on Zolia. There is a check mark, the hook. That means a check-in. So whoever you set on your emergency contact list, they will receive a message of your geotag, of your coordinates. So let's do that. You hear the sound? That means it is sending. And the spinning means it's trying to send it out. I sometimes get questions, even emails of girls wanting to go out alone. Safety is one of the biggest concerns and another thing is they can't get it past their parents. And this is sort of the one way that I can make sure they feel a little safer and trust me a little more that, you know, their daughter's not lost. I just got this Rhino Rack pack out system on. I have two extra pieces of awning wall in this bag. I may not need them in every camp. For example, like today, there's barely anyone around me and it's not windy. I don't have to close up myself and I don't have to access it all the time. So that goes on the roof. When I was um, putting it on, I just simply made the strap one, two. And now I think of it, it might be a safer to, it doesn't come off, you know, as ratchet strap, but it might be safer to have at least one strap go under my back strap, just in case, you know? And now I just thought about it. I don't have to take the whole strap out. I can just simply redo this. Sometimes your brain gets a little pickle and that is totally okay because we are all human. So basically with this pack out system, Hold on, did I say pack out system or pick up system? I think it's called pick up system. Man, I'm thinking about Milwaukee pack out too much. <laughs> so pick up system. The good thing is you don't have to take out the whole strap because usually I would just strap it all under using a normal ratchet strap. But uh, with this, you can just loosen it, unhook, and there you got your bag. So there's one thing I actually really want to do is to change out this factory mat into a workable surface, either aluminum or stainless steel. Because it just sucks on every bit of dirt. Makes it really gross. While my dinner cook itself in the air fryer, I can free myself to set up my bedding and enjoy the scenery a little more. Man, I just can't get over how amazing this is. Seriously, wow. just realized if I really want to be lazy I don't even need a plate right now wow okay it's hot 
One thing I don't really like about the jackery is the handle does not fold down. So if I want to charge something and then put the thing, say for example, my chainsaw battery on top, I can't do it or like anything. I doubt there's any critical component in this bar. So I don't know why they ended up designing this. It is really easy to hold onto though. However, I did find out a good use for this. The 1000 is 22 pounds. A little lighter for me to do a roll, but you can still do it when you're outside, don't have a gym. She says she likes to dance, she loves to make friends with my friends. I will wreck all of my plans, drive until we hit the sand, catch a sunburn while she tans. I would do, I would do, I do whatever she likes. Give her Christmas in July, she ain't gotta tell me twice. I know country music is a love or hate to many, but heck, when alone, I'd be dancing to country music all night long. Obviously, I don't know how to dance, but I love the story behind every song. Can't help goofing around with the tune. Some journal time. I just recently found this pen. It's a fountain pen, but it is one time use, so you don't have to refill it. If you like writing, definitely give these a try. Just from Amazon, fountain pen, uh, disposable fountain pen, so you don't have to carry a bottle of ink too. Writes so much better. Moon, it's up. Yeah, those two keys are back. I wonder if I took the home. Sometimes in the morning if I don't feel like eating right away or if I don't want to use fire to cook anything hot but still want a sandwich that is hot, I use this 12 volt food heater. This allow me to start driving while the food is cooking itself and I'll just go grab it whenever I want to. This is the beginning of sort of a spontaneous trip. Weather forecast looks great, so here I am. Unsure where the next destination is or how long I'll be out for. Just want to see where I can get to and what's out there. Are you excited for what's to come? Yeah, me too. Super, super, super cute little thing. Mm -hmm. 